Texas comes into this one four and one on the young season. Again, ranked number nine in the nation, and we are underway. So they had Scott listed at short. She's, in fact, starting at third. And there is the first strikeout of Sophia Simpson's career here in the first inning of the home opener. This one lifted to left field, first hit of the night, courtesy of Chloe Gomez. Last year, for the fourth time in five seasons, runner is going. Here's the throw on the second, and Gomez slides in there safely. And ends this half of the inning with a K as well. The freshman in her debut strikes out two. Jefferson starts off with a base knock. Making her Texas debut, immediately lays down the bunt. Vallejo on to first, and that will advance Jefferson for the rest of her Texas career. Yeah, Courtney Day has shown that she can truly be an offensive threat. That one thrown away off the glove of Kaylee Cross, and both runners are safe for Texas. Yeah, she remains at second. You got Day over at first, Iacopa, and the throw to third. Nobody was home, and Texas will grab the 1-0 lead and their home opener. Probably got up into the humid wind of Florida that hit off the fence. Well, she delivers there. That's bobbled in right field by Arduan, and Texas grabs a 2-0 lead as Day scores. Just a ball too good that Mary can handle. Whitaker gets solid bat on that one. That's going to drive home another run as Iacopo scores three zip Longhorns. It's now becoming freshmen, sophomores, some of them coming in next year, and just how their careers have played out. Simmons retired for the third out, but the Longhorns strike first. Continually have churned out some really good pitchers. Third strikeout of the day, second straight for Sophia Simpson. Each one brings something different. Sometimes on staffs, you'll have pitchers that have the same repertoire. I don't think any two of them have the same repertoire. Go, oh, that was a curveball, and it missed just off the plate. And how about this? Sophia Simpson, in the second inning of her career, strikes out the side. Yeah, and a relatively late transfer. He's down the bunt, it stays fair. The throw on to first, not in time. Dayton, one of the fastest players on the team, and show it off that speed to reach. Years, well, four with the COVID year of her career. Dayton is going, here's the throw off target, and there is a stolen base for Bella Dayton. Seventh pitch of the at bat on the way, back up the middle, momentarily bobbled, and that cost him the inning. It continues, Reyna couldn't handle it. Kaylee Cross being over third baseman was probably... That one passed Arduan in right field. One run is going to come in as Dayton scores. Here comes Mia Scott. That's going to drive in two for Texas, courtesy of Courtney Day. And that's what Mike White's done, but Courtney Day being a pitcher is always going to want to be in the circle. Day holds up a third. Iacopo heading for second, and Texas now with two in scoring position after Iacopo's second hit of the contest. The ball bounced off the catcher's glove hard enough. Fielded nicely by Willingham, and the inning comes to an end. The 23 stolen bases. Swing and a miss for strike three. Make it six Ks now for Sophia Simpson. You're a pitcher, so love to hear it, but uh, she definitely was the talk of the weekend for Texas. Second hit of the night given up by Simpson, a base knock for Kendall Talley with two outs. Two years at Tennessee, takes one to right field. Whitaker is there for out number three. You have to assume Coach Landrino is going to use this now, too, to get as much experience as he can for these players defensively in case they ever run into this situation again. Prince play, Oklahoma State is ranked fourth. That one over to third, the throw to second in time, on to first, and managing to stay on the bag was Moreno. Again, this team led the nation in double plays a year ago. Randy Rupp, who was at Texas State when I was coaching there. Um, Chandler Hall, who Kurt Hall's her dad, who's now teaching pitching down there. She was another product that was at Texas State. Starting off this season strong, especially Sophia Simpson. Washington in the hole, 
not in time. Right, ha you have to wonder if they were at full strength with those four athletes, if this game would be any different. Sophia Simpson's career. Here's Kelly Cross, struck out earlier in the game, but delivers with a base knock to center. The runners will hold, and the bases will be loaded with one away here in the fourth inning. The one-two, got her! Big strikeout number two for the freshman, and her eighth K of the night. Yeah, re-enrolled in classes. They made sure she was eligible. Over to third, Scott steps on the bag. They're going to have to be able to undisputably say that, yes, it hit her foot. And the call stands. Perrin grounds out to end the inning with the bases loaded. As the baby goat of Texas softball. That would be a kid, right? There have been seasons where she didn't even strike out for the first time until 20, 30 games in. And we jinxed her. We did. That is the first Texas base runner thrown out this season. Great play by the defense of McNeese. Here's Mia Scott taking one into the gap in right center. That is going to be the first hit of her career. And she's trying to make it a triple. She is safe. Mia Scott, the true freshman with a triple here in the fourth. That one gets past the catcher, Gomez. And in to score is Mia Scott, the first run scored of her career. That drop is going to make it hard for any team to be able to lift a ball into the outfield. So Simpson getting a lot of ground balls. Wow. Make it nine strikeouts for Sophia Simpson in her Longhorns debut. Teams that McNeese has on their schedule this season. Yeah, coming up this weekend, they're going to face Oklahoma twice. One and two, overleaping Jefferson to right field and rounding second is Tally. She's heading home and McNeese is on the board. Yet to allow an earned run in her debut here, but this one launched to deep left off the top of the wall. That's going to bring in a second run. That one smashed off the bat of Chloe Gomez, making good of her second chance. Absolutely, Mike White, I love the term he used to describe her debut, but we'll get to that later because there's a double play turn by the Texas defense. And just like that, the top half of the frame is over. She said it was an easy, it was an easy transition. It was, everyone was welcomed and... That one scooped up the throw to first. Well, they changed it. They ruled her out. As they've been limited to just two hits, and McNeese continues to hang around. That one knocks the glove off of Hewlin, but Iacopo recovers not in time. Leadoff hitter Kaylee Cross is aboard. Or just to keep everybody fresh, but they'll be able to effectively use a lot of pitchers. And Iacopo helps turn the double play. Another inning-ending double play. Texas climbing back into the rankings and everything these days. That's right, Bella Dayton. Parent had to hold up for that one. That is Texas's first hit. 2-2 two -two with two away. That one poked to center. That'll go past the diving Parent and roll back deep into center field. Runner comes home to score, and Texas with a little bit of breathing room now up seven to two. Went 14 and three down the stretch last year. Scott takes this one, a ride to deep center off the wall. Another extra base hit. Scott digging for third. And how about this debut by Mia Scott, her second triple of the night. In. Scott's got two tonight. Alyssa Papelka grounds out to end the inning. But About the big stage tonight, really being able to come in and show what they're capable of doing, which will be exciting for Texas in the long run. Meanwhile, leading off the seventh, Tony Perrin. You know, Estelle just, she does that. Kendall Talley takes her to left center field. That's going to roll all the way back to the wall. Runner rounding third, the relay throw home, and she is safe. It's an eighth. Ball game. And as we just saw there, she throws a great off speed pitch. Willingham to shallow right. That's going to drop in there for a base knock. And McNeese not going away. Runners on the corners. 
That one over to short. Washington waits for it on to second for one, and that's all they'll get as another run crosses the plate. Away, stay in the game, and bring the energy. And that one hits Reyna. And with Estelle coming in from the left side to righties, that off-speed pitch is going to be something the way that they can. And that'll do it into the glove of Gilbert. So Texas takes down McNeese in the home opener.